Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. I would like to demonstrate the mixing of two silicon impression materials. One material has a syringe consistency, and the second material has a putty-like consistency. The first material is syringe elasticon made by the Kerr Company. Syringe elasticon comes as a, uh, a paste and a liquid system with the base in the, base in the form of a, uh, of a paste and the accelerator in the form of a liquid. A mixing pad is also provided with the Kerr system, which is calibrated in inches so that uh, given, for a given situation one inch or two inches or three inches of base may be necessary. One drop of liquid uh, accelerator is added for each inch of base material. A stiff spatula is necessary to mix the uh, silicon impression materials. And I'll demonstrate the mixing of uh, syringe elasticon. First, we will add two inches of the uh, base material. And notice we try to give an, get an even flow of material from the tube. We will then add two drops of the accelerator and notice this is a viscous liquid. There we go. This should be mixed for a minimum of 45 seconds. First, we should incorporate with a stirring action the accelerator into the base. This should be done until a color change is observed. Now that this is done, we use a slow strapping action to mix the material and to eliminate air bubbles. Our time is almost up. We collect the material from the mixing pad, and we are now ready to load the syringe. Optisil is a moldable silicon impression material made by the Unitech company. Optisil comes as a putty and a liquid catalyst system. Also provided with Optisil is a measuring cup to be used in dispensing the putty. Any paper mixing pad will do to mix Optistil, and a stiff spatula is a necessity to mix this stiff putty-like material. To dispense the putty, we place the measuring cup into the material and get a, a level measuring cup full of the base material. This can then be dispensed onto the mixing pad and should be cross-hatched to receive the liquid catalyst. As you can see, this has quite a stiff consistency. The liquid hardener uh, requires or can be dispensed eight to 10 drops. The more drops that are dispensed, the uh, quicker will be the set of the material. Uh, in this mix, we'll use eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This material should be mixed for a minimum of 30 seconds with the spatula 
and then can be further mixed using the fingers. Again, we use a folding action to incorporate the catalyst into the putty. Picking up the XX accelerator from the pad, we can now pick the material up and further mix using the fingers. Once no orange color is evident in the mix, the putty is ready for loading. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.